Hello and welcome. Join us on a whirlwind trip to Georgetown, Washington, D.C. Our journey began before it started when we missed a red-eye flight, but we turned it around and enjoyed a morning walk to the waterfront and spent the late afternoon on a scenic water taxi to the wharf where we savored appetizers, Asian fusion, and rooftop sushi overlooking the gorgeous Potomac River at night. Welcome to the Carl Ventures channel. I'm Carl, and alongside my husband, Matthias, we're on an adventurous mission to explore the world with boundless curiosity and open hearts. Our journey is all about immersing ourselves in diverse cultures, connecting with people from all walks of life, and promoting positivity and understanding wherever we go. Join us as we embark on this thrilling adventure together. So buckle up and let's dive into the unknown. make this flight or actually we missed our flight this morning for the first time I misread the dates and um, we were supposed to leave at midnight I thought it was midnight tonight but it was last night so thank God through the help of Delta we were able to be booked the flight and uh, here we are 12 hours later we're finally boarding the plane so lesson learned delayed but we made it <sighs> We arrived at 1 a.m. and checked in at the Ritz-Carlton Georgetown. The Ritz-Carlton Georgetown is a luxury hotel located in the heart of Washington, D.C.'s historic Georgetown district. Housed in a renovated industrial building, it offers a blend of modern elegance and historic charm. Guests should enjoy an upscale accommodations, a serene spa, and fine dining options, all within walking distance of Georgetown's vibrant shopping and dining scene. As you can see here, this is quite an unusual hallway because we had to go on the lower level to get access to the elevators that took us to the guest suites. And this is where it became really evident that this is not the Ritz-Carlton that one should expect. It has a blend of modernity and yet it's okay. missing the elegance How is this that happening? we've seen in other Ritz-Carlton properties. This is a studio unit that, according to front desk, should have been an upgrade for us, but I don't believe so. So what do you think so far? Uh, so far, I'm underwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but hopefully the day gets better. No, I'm kidding. It's been a really surprising trip so far. Uh, we've been met with a lot of- Challenges. Unexpected challenges. However, we've been doing really good at getting through them, so keeping a positive attitude. Yes. So we're heading down to the river. Um, it's a down, nice... Down, down, down to the river. Yes. So this is our first exploration of Georgetown. Although we've been here a few years ago. Many, many years ago, actually. Maybe 10 years ago. Uh, we've never been on this side of, of town, so we're really excited about it. Yes. We're excited to see it. And in the meantime, you guys got to live <laughs> yeah, we've been lucky. So we missed our red eye flight two nights ago. I, for the first time in my life, I misread the date. I thought that we were leaving on the 23rd, but it was actually 12.35 a.m. of the 22nd. So missed it, but Extraordinary People helped us. Thank you, Delta Airlines. Thank you, customer service. They're still around, guys. They're yeah, still around. Good people are still around, definitely. So really happy about that. We'll be back soon. And so we went on a morning walk to the Georgetown waterfront despite the intense heat and humidity. So guess what? 
We're now by... This is the Potomac River, right? Potomac, Potomac, yeah. Oh, I almost Potomac. like fell. Anywho. The Potomac River flows through Washington, D.C., offering scenic views of iconic landmarks and lush greenery and providing a tranquil escape with activities like kayaking and picturesque water taxi rides. The waterfront features a lively array of restaurants offering diverse cuisines alongside beautiful water features and scenic views of the Potomac River, creating a vibrant and picturesque dining experience. So one of the things we noticed is that it's way too humid. And it's like high noon, but the humidity is tremendous and hot. So We're from the desert, so we're used to the dry heat. No, you're from the desert. I'm from the valley. Well, same thing. <laughs> So Georgetown streets are lined with historic brick townhouses, boutique shops, and charming cafes, creating a vibrant, walkable neighborhood with a blend of classic architecture and modern attractions. Like these townhomes that showcase quaintness and vibrance in simplicity and in colors. Our day took a turn for the better when we were unexpectedly upgraded to a luxurious one-bedroom suite. So we thought. Here we are in our upgraded suite. What's 462? This building is divided into west and east areas. Breakfast is already waiting for us. Come on in. I'm assuming this is a toilet. Perfect. Our luggage already here waiting. And ta da! We have our bedroom. Yay! En suite bath over here. With two sinks. This is the Ritz Carlson that I am accustomed to. As if. Perfect. I love this. With a massive shower. With a body wash this time, so that's perfect. Okay. So while you're there, I'm going to go here. And until the next episode, folks, thank you. Wow, look at this little surprise. Thank you very much. Feeling rejuvenated, we strolled back to the waterfront late in the afternoon and spontaneously decided to take a scenic water taxi to the wharf on the Potomac. Oh my God, we're under the pour, the pour, the pour. <laughs> Check it out, guys. It's as if it was planned for the day, but as we were heading down on the waterfront, we just saw this boat and took a ride. The water taxi ride along the Potomac was a serene and scenic experience, offering a unique perspective of Washington, D.C. As we glided along the river, the gentle breeze provided a refreshing respite from the day's heat and humidity. The skyline of Georgetown slowly receded, replaced by picturesque views of iconic landmarks like the Kennedy Center, the Washington Monument, and the Jefferson Memorial. The calm waters of the Potomac reflected clear blue sky and the lush greenery lining the riverbanks, creating a stunning backdrop for our journey. Passing under historic bridges, we could see kayakers and paddleboarders enjoying the river. The ride offered a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of the city, allowing us to relax and take in the beauty of our surroundings. As we approached the wharf, the vibrant waterfront district came into view, bustling with activity and alive with colorful boats and lively waterfront establishments. The water taxi docked smoothly and we stepped off, eager to explore the next chapter of our Georgetown adventure. Once we got there, we were immediately immersed in the countless unique bars and restaurants that line the boardwalk. We indulged in appetizers that are so unique at a charming French bistro called Du Jour. Colorado. I know what I'm supposed to do. 
followed by a delectable meal at Kaliwa, an Asian fusion restaurant that tantalized our taste buds. We capped off our night at the Pendry's Rooftop Bar, savoring delicious sushi and cocktails. We also enjoyed the breathtaking views of the Potomac River under the stars. So how is it? What's up guys? Today we're having our Beetlejuice straw with our tequila spritzer. It's not an apple spritzer, it's a tequila spritzer. Don Julio, baby. <laughs> so that was day one of our trip to Georgetown. Don't miss this exciting journey through Georgetown and beyond. For more videos of our adventures, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.